Hi, Dinosaur Bob here. I've been running fantasy role-playing games for over 40 years, and today I'm about to embark on the building of a new, complete fantasy campaign world. The last world I built was the setting for adventures for my friends for the past five years, but that campaign is now a few short weeks from coming to a close, and so it will be time for a new beginning. It will be a new beginning in a lot of ways. That last campaign was run using Advanced Dungeons & Dragons 2nd Edition rules. If you are wondering why the dinosaur is in my name, there's your first hint. But this dinosaur plans on evolving now that the internet asteroid has struck, bringing new gaming systems, new ways to game, and new ways to share our experience. This next go-around will be using a much more recent rule set. I will also be using YouTube to record and share the whole world-building experience that we're starting here today. You may have noticed I've said we, not I, just there. That's because I'm hoping to have you, the viewers, along on this journey, and not just the spectators. I'm willing to make this a collaborative effort, so some of your ideas might very well end up enshrined in this wonderful new campaign world. To be honest, as I publish this video, I don't have that many YouTube followers, but I'm hoping that will change as time goes on. And as it does, you, my viewers, will have the chance to help shape this new play setting, this new world. I've got a name for this new world. We'll be creating the world of Cartirion. I've even got the first world-level mapping of the geography, thanks to a great tool called Fractal Terrains by Pro Fantasy Software Limited. And here it is. In future videos, we will delve into this map in more detail. We'll also be looking into this mapping tool, as well as other tools that will be used. In the meantime, though, if you're interested in learning more about Fractal Terrains, there will be a link down below. But for now, I want to go over what's ahead for this journey, because there's a lot of work to do. Building a fantasy setting is like building a house. To build a house, you first need a foundation, then the framing, and then you can finish the surfaces, and finally you add the finished trim and furnishings. I've found that the best foundation for a fantasy world is the mythos, so we'll start by developing a pantheon of new gods and goddesses, at least the major ones. In a fantasy world, the desires and actions of the gods and goddesses determine the shape of the world, its people, and its history. As we develop the gods and goddesses, we'll be able to start shaping the historical lore of the world. Not a year-by-year -year chronology at this point, just the world shaping things. I'm sure there will be suggestions for a global catastrophe or two caused by conflicts among the gods. And then after that, we'll get back to geography. We'll have an idea of how to populate different regions of Cartirion, and that will let us start to place kingdoms, dwarven citadels, elven forest homes, and the political boundaries between them. We'll know where the cities should be and where the wilderness remains. We'll even identify a few major NPCs. And just as you would remodel a house room by room, we will flesh out Cartirion region by region. Since my players and I will want to get started on their newest adventures, only one or two regions will be worked down to the extreme detail level first. But when one is done, we'll go on to the next until we've built out the entire world. And hopefully we'll stay ahead of my player group as we do this. We won't forget the final decoration of our house either. We'll work together to develop adventures to challenge the player characters who find themselves part of this world in games run by me or anyone else who wishes to make use of this material. In these videos, we'll explore the thought processes and decision making that go into each step along the way. If any of you decide to take the plunge in the future and build your own world, I hope you'll pick up a trick or two along the way. And if you don't ever try your hand at this yourself, I hope you'll end up with a new appreciation of the work that goes into it. Either way, I'm hoping your suggestions will teach me something as well. Well, it's time to wrap up this introduction. In the next video, we'll actually get started and begin to think about the powers that have shaped Cartirion. 
One last request. The more viewers like you watching these videos, the more great ideas will find their way into the world of Carterion. So please share this video with your role-playing game friends. Ask them to check out this series and subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave your comments below, and if you like what you've heard, please remember to hit that thumbs up before you go. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell as well so that you can keep up with our progress and give me your comments and suggestions. But for now, farewell, and may the dice be with you.